So hello friends and welcome to Kids Worship. We are so happy that you've tuned in today and we have a special treat for you. A great message from one of our own kids. Poppy has a video and a story to share and we are so grateful that she is willing to share a message with you today. And we also hope that you might join us for our virtual church school where we are learning about the power of fire and the ways that God used fire to communicate with people and to share the Holy Spirit. Now today's call to worship is based on Psalm 104, a psalm about all of the amazing things God created and how God cares for creation. So we hope as you hear these words that you will also remember how we are all called to care for God's awesome creation too. So we will share the first line of the call to worship. Poppy's gonna do that. And then we will invite you to join us in the response. Um, you'll follow me for that one. And the response is everything you make is awesome, God. So will you join with us in our call to worship? The whole world is beautiful because of all that God has made. Everything you make is awesome, God. God makes all creation fabulous. Everything in the sky, in the ocean, and on land. Everything you make is awesome, God. God nourishes and helps everything grow. Everything you make is awesome, God. We, all, we see God's glory and goodness break through everywhere. Everything you make is awesome, God. So now will you join with me in prayer? God, we thank you for your care. You, care, you cared so much that you meet creation and all that is in it. The plants, trees, animals, and us. When we look around at all that you have made, we are in awe. Help us remember that all that you made is a gift. And when we forget that, help us to turn back to you and look through your eyes at all of your things and people. Help us to look with eyes of love and act with hearts focused on you and your desire for everyone and everything to live in harmony. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ who taught us to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Good morning, kids. I want to invite your animal heart to come out and learn with us. Today, we are going to show how all God's critters got a place in the world and how important it is to care for God's creation for plants, animals, and other people. Let me tell you a little story. On my vacation, my family went on a walk on the beach. We were taking pictures of all those fun moments when my dad spotted something. We are going to watch the video to see what happened. It's a lie. What is it around? Sleep? that goes under his head, too. He's trying to take damage his feathers. So, look, it's like all in here. There we go. That one's gone. Okay. Let's see this one. Is that one? Easy, guys. I don't know if some of this can still stay there without it being thumb. All right, let's see how he is. Come on, buddy. All right, let's just step back and see okay. if he'll come up. He may be in shock right now. Yeah. No, don't. We're going to step away. No, you can't have it. He ran past him and did nothing. Or 
it's not doing anything. I don't know. Is it okay? Wow, that was a pretty powerful video. I wonder if it might be making the other kids at home feel sad or even angry about the people who just walked by that bird. Poppy, I wonder if there's a story that this experience with the bird makes you think of. I think there is, Pastor Jen. It makes me think of the Good Samaritan. Remember how three people walked past the hurt man, but the first person helped him? But for the seagull, lots and lots of people walked past him. And then my family decided it was important to care for God's creation by helping the bird. You see, when we don't care for creation by picking up after ourselves, making sure our garbage ends up in the right place, I think it makes God sad and can really hurt other creatures in the world around us. Luckily, with my family's help, the seagull we found that day made it out alive, and it was able to fly and away and live its happy birdie life and able to stay a part of God's awesome creation. Does this make you want to do something to help someone or an animal? It does. So let's remember that God asks us to be a part of taking care of all creation. When we're outside, let's make sure we leave things better than we found them. Leaving plants be and cleaning up our garbage. Making sure we don't do anything that to hurt all that God has made. And when we see, see people in need, let's remember to help them in any way we can too. Will you pray with me? Dear God, help all those little things and people who have been ignored to seek compassion. And help to make sure that all of God's creation and animals and people feel loved and cared for. Amen.